So I am unusually excited about this project because it actually worked. Like many gardeners this time of year, I have started a number of seeds indoors and have now run out of space. And I did not anticipate that. Most of the seeds that I'm using are four or five years old, so I expected the germination rates to be quite low. And I think every single seed sprouted this year, which has never happened before. And of course this year I have like no space inside to be dealing with it. So I didn't want to just pinch off and get rid of the seedlings. I'd much rather keep them all um, and then give them away, give them to family and friends, give them to the neighborhood but I just don't have space for it and it's still too cold outside to start transferring things like hot peppers or tomatoes. Plus there's a whole bunch of other seeds I would like to start that I still don't have space for. And I started researching around to figure out how I can do something with a heated cold frame without having to actually construct anything. So I decided to try it out and I've had this outside now for the last three days and we've had snow, we've had crazy wind storms, we've had negative temperatures. And when I popped out this morning, the ambient air temperature of the yard was around the zero mark um, with a wind chill of negative six Celsius. And when I peeped in the thermostat inside, it was holding steady at eight degrees. And when I came out after the sun had come up um, and was actually shining on it, it was up to 22 degrees Celsius. So it is holding temperature beautifully all night long, all day long, um, and I feel safe enough that it is going to be a, a good enough environment to house my tomato seedlings in. So hopefully if you have run out of space inside of your home for all of your new little seedling babies and you don't want to pinch them off like I do, then you will give this a try um, using things that you probably already have laying around the house and that you will be able to keep every single seedling um, chugging along until it is safe to plant out in a few more weeks. Let me know in the comments below if you do try this and if it works for you as well, uh, but I'm really excited to give this a try. All this is, is a tarp that I had from camping, put over top of some patio furniture. Um, we have two benches, um, but you could probably use chairs, you could use pots. Um, if you wanted to construct something out of wood, you could. Um, I have one tray in here. It's just like a piece of plywood up on two pots just to keep things off of the ground. Um, and I'm planning on putting the more heat sensitive ones on that um, and then the more cold hardy can go directly on the pavers on the ground and then towards the back to get the, uh, the height of this uh, little canopy I used just a side table that we had from Ikea I think it was like 15 or 20 bucks and then the heat source is a crock pot lid off nothing in it um, I currently have it set to high because it is still very cold at night we are still dipping down below the freezing mark but as the temperature starts to increase i'll turn that down to low or keep warm and i have all of the electrical so the crock pot on um, an exterior extension cord hooked onto a um, timer that we use for our christmas lights in my case it's a car block timer so it's incredibly rugged and durable and there's no chance of overloading it and I have that set um, to go all night long and to turn off between um, 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. so during the heat of the day when the sun is at its strongest because I don't want to fry everything that's in here um, and it will have enough ambient temperature so right now it's already been off for about three hours and it's still holding steady at 20 degrees celsius so it is doing exactly what I hoped it would be doing. So I'm going to pull off the tarp so that you can see um, the structure of it and I'll walk you through the individual parts. Um, but it is really simple to throw together. I had this put together in about 15-20 minutes but I'm also about nine months pregnant right now. If you are a fully able-bodied individual you could probably have this whipped up in about five minutes flat. Um, so let's dive under the cover. So I have it uncovered now, and as you can see, it is holding steady at about 20 degrees Celsius in there. I expect this to start to drop now that it's not covered up anymore. But this is what we are working with. So I used our dining table benches as the kind of structural walls of it. I have a 
end table over here to give it a little extra height. And then I have put the crock pot underneath that so that there's no risk of the tarp blowing into that space and potentially causing fire hazard or anything else um, because the legs of that table will help to keep anything and everything away from it. This is my little elevated zone for the more heat loving vegetables that I plan on putting in here. Um, just because the uh, patio pavers will um, hold a bit more of the cool temperatures than keeping it up elevated in the warmer air and heat rises as well. So it will keep it up towards the warmer temperatures up top. And it will also, um, this side of the little structure is um, southwest facing where um, the other side is more northerly facing. So the position in the yard that I chose was selected for the natural sunshine. Um, over on this side, it gets all the access to the morning sun. And then over on this front edge here is where all of the afternoon heat will come from, from the afternoon sun. And then until the apple tree leaves out, we also get all of the noonday direct sun as well. The tarp that I have is very translucent. Like you can see through it so it gets very clear um, direct sunlight it is obviously going to be filtered out it's not going to be full uv rays um, and the crock pot is just a standard i know i got it for christmas and it is coming very handy it's just crock pot brand crock pot and yeah that that is pretty much all there is to it